Yes, I'm back. All right. How's everybody doing out there? These cold, wintry days that we're facing, or at least uh, some of us are, depending on where you live. So, get a little bit of the good music here, uh, rocking it out a little bit. Uh, welcome. This is Life's Journey at 50. I'm your host, Matt McCourt. And uh, looking forward to a great session here. So, um, anyways, trying to get adjusted here a little bit. Sorry. Take that music down just a little bit. Uh, again, uh, Life's Journey at 50. Uh, you can catch me on uh, all the normal stuff. Apple, Spotify, Google, Amazon, Podbean. So, uh, all over the place. And... Um, I do want to say uh, thank you uh, for listening. Uh, I know I'm not as regular as some of the big ones, obviously, just a small-time player and just having some fun with this. But um, I do want to say thank you. I did get a notification, 1,000 subscribers, so that's great. I don't have any way to track who that was or anything, and I don't have anything to give away. So <laughs> um, it's not like, uh, you know, we're raking in uh, big dimes here. Uh I don't even think we're getting pennies and uh, not Joe Rogan or anybody, but uh, anyways, just having fun. like to share some of the stuff that go, goes on in life and, and um, obviously not traveling too much. We got huge major win, uh, winter storm going through the U S we're about to get our portion of it here in Ohio and uh, all the fun stuff. So uh, anyhow, I uh, wanted to, um, uh, just say thank you for that. But, uh, yeah, so today's topic is funny because I, you probably watched the Super Bowl, right? And, um, a little bit of a dud, right? I mean, uh, Kansas City, uh, just didn't, you know, was one of those days, just an off day. And, and Tampa Bay's defense played really well. And that's not my purpose of this today. But, um, but what I really want to talk about is this, this cancel culture stuff that we're going through. And again, life's journey at 50. So I'm 53 years old and I just really have a hard time with just the whole, everything bothers everyone. And I, I just, I don't get it. I, I, I really don't. And, and, and it's, it's funny too, cause I talk to others that are roughly my age, maybe 45 to 55. Um, and they don't get it either, even younger. I mean, I, I've talked to some people in their, well, in their thirties and forties and, and, um, and then obviously the older, older than me. Um, I, I just, we, we just don't get it. Um, and, and the reason why I brought it up is because the ladies, I think it's her dad or her grandfather's the one that made the trophy, the Super Bowl trophy. And, got all offended because Tom Brady on his boat in Tampa tossed it to another teammate on another boat. How dare they? He's so disrespectful. And, you know, hell, the Stanley Cup gets passed around like it's a, uh, uh, excuse my uh, forte here, but uh, gets passed around like it's a, uh, a stripper on a pole, you know, just spinning. Um, I hate to say it that way, but you know, the Stanley cup, if you watch those guys, they get that damn thing and they go around and they, they're popping champagne out of it, drinking beer out of it, you know, take it like they're doing stilly stuff with that trophy. And, and, and I made a comment on the thing and I said, I'm offended because you're offended that you're offended. And, uh, I, I said, you know, Brady's got another six of them. So if he wants to donate, if he dumps one in the water, he can pick one up and donate it or whatever. I mean, the guy's been there 10 times, won seven of them. I mean, my God, we get so offended over everything. Every little thing bothers everyone. And now that you've got social media and podcast, haha, um, I, I swear this cancel culture, this like, um, I, I, I saw the, the comments, I think it's from the bachelor or bachelorette or whatever. And they ran him off the show. And then, um, I, I mean, I read his comments. I didn't think it was anything. But evidently, 
and, and again, I'll get accused of whatever I'll get accused of. And, but we are so like, when do we become so thin skinned that we can't like, just like, like suck it up, buttercup, move it on. I, 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 I don't get it. Um, what, whatever happened to the old adage, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. It's like, like, as soon as you say something, everybody has to overanalyze it. There has to be a reason behind it. Why did you say it that way? It offended me. Oh, my God. You know, hell, I'm a, I'm a 53-year-old, you know, white male, which obviously is under assault 24 hours a day. I, I'll get hate mail or somebody will say something about that. I don't really care. Um, but I am not, like, uh, looking like Chris Hemsworth or anything. Hemsworth. I'm not, you know, I, hey, I got the 53 year old dad bod. I, if someone called me fat or chunky or overweight or whatever you want to call me, I, I don't give a shit. I don't care. Again, I don't care. Whatever. I, I, I like, I don't care. But so some people are so upset. Oh, Tom Brady threw the trophy. I can't believe it. It's so disrespectful. Or or that person looked at me funny. Or heaven forbid that I open a door for some women nowadays because that's offensive. How dare you? That takes away my women's rights. No, it's called being polite and opening the door for you. And I, I just like, where did all this come from? Why so much hate and anger? And I, I like, I don't know. I mean, I, I get, if you don't want to be fat, go work out, stop shoving burgers down your throat. I mean, I could do the same thing, right? I try to try to do whatever I can, but hell, I have to watch what I eat and all this other stuff. If I want to lose some weight and everything, how about some personal responsibility out there? Stop getting all like upset and everything. Jesus, it's terrible. I I I, I don't know. This cancel call. I it's funny because you even watch comedians now. Comedians are almost going to be out of business because you can't say anything about anybody. It's like the word police. There had to be a reason behind why you said it. Tell me what it is. Everybody has to label everybody. Everybody's got to, like, hate one another. Everybody's got to go immediately to social media and just blow people up because how dare you? It's the, oh, like, I, 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 I laugh at this stuff. I mean, seriously, we have news, news footage or we have actually news being, you know, brought up about it. And I'm like, oh, my God, there are more things in this world to be concerned about than that. Or any of it. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It, it, I, I just, it, it's, it is mind-boggling, folks. It's mind-boggling. And, and if you believe into this cancel culture thing, I feel bad for you. I do. Um, because it's a great way for others in our media or our government to take the eye off the ball and what's really going on out, out there with what they're doing or whatever. And, uh, I think all this is just a ruse to keep us, you know, it's, it's, it's the old, uh, magic trick, right? Yeah. Look at what the left's hand doing, but don't pay attention to the right. Look at what the left's hand doing, but don't pay attention to the right or vice versa, whatever. And it, I just, <laughs> it's one of my rants for for this podcast is cancel culture it's it's terrible like i, I just <laughs> and people get so angry it's hilarious i i love it because i'll go on facebook specifically i i, I am proverbially if the, if for anybody that does listen to me that does know me i i i usually end up like it's one of those things where you open up the door pull the pin on the grenade, throw the grenade in the door, close the door, and then open it back up and go, what happened? 
you know. So I'll do that because I'll poke and prod and just to see what the reaction is. And I do that on Facebook all the time. And we get, I, I it's hilarious. I get meltdowns. Meltdowns. Just like the, uh, uh, just like you know, all the political stuff, right? You know, like, oh, Trump this and Trump that. And then as soon as you bring up something that someone in their party did, it, it, it like, oh, they never did that. Uh, yeah, they did. Um, oh, they didn't do that. Like, <coughs> pardon me. The, the hypocrisy that I see out there, the hypocrisy is unbelievable. It's just like this, um, uh, the actress that plays Cara Dune on, on Mandalorian. She's been fired by Lucas or whatever. And she made some statements, right, wrong, or indifferent, but don't we as a country have a First Amendment right of freedom of speech? And it wasn't anything that I thought was necessarily bad. She made a comment. Because if you do look at history, and again, history has a tendency to repeat itself. And if you would look at history, you would see what happened during Nazi Germany. They started suppression of speech. They started, you know, uh, grouping people and putting people. I mean, that's not what we want. Either side. We should be cognizant of what, what's going on here. But to be fired for that is crazy to me. And now she's going to go over and do some other movie with somebody else. And I mean, it's a mess. And, and, and the thing of it is, is her co-stars said the same thing, but from the other side of the view and they still have their jobs. So that's what I don't understand is like, how is it? that you can fire one person and if they made reference to and if they made reference to one side of the political spectrum they were fired yet if they made the other person if they made reference and they were on the other side of the fence they didn't get fired all within like a 60 day period so like, I, 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 I'm not, I'm not following. Like, how is that? How is that? How is that right? We, we we all need to take a step back and think about this because everybody is so on the attack and looking for anything to say or comment about. It's crazy. And I feel bad for that. I also feel bad for the guy that's out on The Bachelor or whatever. I mean, or Bachelorette or whatever it was. Uh, uh, his comments, I didn't think, were deemed. But they threw him in there. They threw him in there. And everything is about race and everything's about gender and everything's about this, that, this, that. Like, it gets old, folks. Do you realize how they're just framing it up where you can't say anything anymore without it offending someone? That they all want you to, you know, think and be and act and do everything like like robots. And the people that are telling us how to act, how to think and stuff are some of the worst offenders. I I, I just baffled at this whole counter culture or cancel culture or whatever it's crazy to me it, it really is crazy to me i mean we need to really just take a step back and think about what the hell's going on here hypocrites on both sides one calls one out for one thing while the other does the other and the other nobody call, I, it, I, the media is complicit in half of this stuff or more all of it I, I just, I <laughs> just, I feel, I really feel bad for my kids. I feel bad for this younger generation. I feel bad for my generation and what's going to have, you know, what's going to happen over the next 20, 30 years that we're still on this earth, I hope. Um, I just, 
it, it, ooh, just drives me nuts. So if you see me out there, you know, opening up doors, lobbing a grenade in, open, you know, and doing it, I'm doing it to, to check people a little bit, to say, wait a minute, you know, pump the brakes, calm down. Nobody offended you. It's not that bad. It's okay. Let it go. Let it go, people. A couple of words here and there is not going to ruin your life. As my mom used to tell me, you know what? You pick yourself up, dust yourself off, keep on moving. It's okay. But now, I mean, we got the word police out there, and every word you say is, oh, what was the intent? What was this mean? What did he mean by that? What did she mean by that? Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, my feelings are so hurt. Uh, we're creating snowflakes across generations. I thought the snowflake thing was just the Gen Zers and the millennials. We got more Karens running around in our 40s, 50s, and 60s than I've ever seen. And you all know who you Karens are out there. Got to love them. Check it out. Go to YouTube and, and type in Karens and see some of the reactions from people. It's like, oh, my God. <laughs> I just, it, it's, it is comical. I said comical. Oh, uh, craziness. So, all right, folks. Well, that's enough. Just my little rant, this cancel culture thing. It's, it's way out of control. Um, and, uh, I, I don't know how it ends. Don't know what's going to end it. I don't know how we're going to get through it because I could tell you right now, it doesn't seem to be going away because everything and everybody gets offended by everything. And it's freaking ridiculous. Ridiculous. Grow up folks. Not going to kill you. Not going to do it. Wouldn't be prudent. This juncture, not going to do it. So, yeah, that's my George H.W. Bush impression. Wasn't that great? So, all right, folks. All right, thanks for stopping by uh, again. Um, got over 1,000 subscribers. Very happy about that. And I appreciate it across all the platforms. So, again, it's on Apple, Spotify, Google, um, Amazon and Podbean and uh, Podbean hosts all my uh, podcasts. So I appreciate it. Uh, again, life's journey at 50 cancel culture, man, we're in some strange waters, my friends, strange water. So uh, keep an open mind out there. Don't forget. Keep our freedom of speech alive. Everybody's allowed to have a thought and an opinion. Once you can't, where do we go from there? So, all right, people, have a wonderful uh, week, uh, and uh, it's President's Day. Big snowstorm across the country. Hope you're surviving it. Anybody that's in warm weather, well, you stink. So, <laughs> enjoy. All right, folks, have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.